There's no bagel in the world like the New York bagel. And if you feel like you've had a good bagel outside of New York, uh, you haven't. It's impossible. And the reason's actually because of the water. New York boasts one of the largest unfiltered water supplies in America. And this lends itself to a lot of uh, extra chemicals in the water like bromine, radium, uh, magnesium, calcium, thorine, chlorine. And what these chemicals do is when they mix with the proteins in the flour uh, in order to form a more perfect union, they combine with the stronger uh, gluten structure to create sort of a awesome bagel, you know? So what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna teach you how you can make an authentic uh, New York bagel right there at home. Okay, so I've got a third of a cup of authentic New York City water straight from the tap, along with a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of yeast. We'll give it about five minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna take three and a half cups of flour and we're just gonna put it in a bowl and stir it. You know, the New York bagel is the only one that's got holes in it. And nobody really knows where the hole actually came from, but historians think that in early New York history, the merchants would put it on a stick that they would thread through the holes. And this would be called your bagel stick. And not only would it be nice to be able to display your merchandise that way, but it also was used as a weapon in case some shit went down. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour our sugar yeast mixture in there. Okay. This is actually looking pretty flowery, so I usually like to have some kind of bottled water nearby that I can use to just moisten it a little. Just use this. You just want to get it nice and uh, watery. Okay, now the dough's all ready to start kneading. We just wanna take the dough out of the bowl. And we'll start kneading. I got my first catering gig recently. They actually offered me $1,000, but I told them that I would do it for just 50 bucks. Anyway, the next day the guy called me up and said that my food tasted like shit. But I said, well, you know, what do you expect for only 50 bucks? Now, we're just gonna take another bowl. We're gonna put our bagel ball in the oil. Pat it down a little bit. And now we're gonna cover it with a, a damp towel and we're gonna leave it for one hour. Meantime, maybe this would be a good time to go out and see a little bit of New York. Help me make it through the night Cause I am tired And alone I don't like myself anymore. So I'm just going to remove our cloth. And what we're going to do now is we're going to separate our dough into eight uh, balls. Try to make them as even as possible, but if you can't, that's okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our index finger and we're just gonna poke a little hole in our balls to make it kind of like a ring.
Okay, so now uh, we've got some boiling water here. We're just gonna take our bagels and we're gonna put them in the boiling water. As you can see, making bagels is a huge pain in the ass. And we're literally just gonna dip our bagels into our ingredients. We're gonna put these in the oven for about 20 minutes. And when we're done, we're gonna enjoy the authentic New York bagel. Oh, hi, and thanks for joining us here on the Henry's Kitchen Masterclass. I wanna remind you that every Monday we're gonna be uploading some really great recipes. So if you want, please uh, subscribe to the uh, Thrillist YouTube channel and that way you're gonna get notified of all of them.